I've been meaning to learn how to draw for a long time now. When I first actually started trying to pursue it and kind of like watching videos to learn. Oh gosh, that was nearly four years ago. And I didn't end up sticking to it. This time my hope is to draw every day. So this is my first week learning how to draw. So I'm someone when I learn, I really enjoy learning the actual like left brain structure kind of theory of things. I should first say that I'm following a sort of online YouTube course, Michael Markowski, and he's just a very kind, generous spirit. I'm about two or three episodes in now. He's really supportive and kind of getting out of your head and just getting into that flow state and just, you know, draw what you see and I can just feel myself kind of developing an awareness and an appreciation for physical art, physical visual art that I haven't had in the past. So he's been instrumental in that. It's also a lot slower paced. I think a lot of like learning videos and courses now are kind of designed around getting someone's attention versus actual, you know, value. Not to say that, you know, these bite sized 10 minute videos that some people make aren't, you know, visually and aesthetically stunning and they do have things of value obviously but I find myself preferring the slower pace like let's take our time with this low editing more humanity and I enjoy his approach to art the reason I'm finally developing or choosing to develop my drawing and sketching skills is because I have a lot of long-term goals of mine like I again I like creating stuff and obviously I love making these videos but instead of just kind of like throwing you know, painted a wall and seeing what sticks. I wanted to see if I like really dive in and learn about the theory behind this stuff and also potentially move into digital art and that sort of thing, you know. You know, I make my own thumbnails, all that stuff. So I just want to be able to have a more clear means of communication for my artistic side. Like that's always my goal as an artist. And I started out as an actor, but now I am slowly developing all these tools that are leading towards something. I also want to be able to draw like my own album and EP covers. Like I've always admired people who just like, you know, it's like this sort of visual art and I just really like people who are able to own all aspects of their creations. Not to say I don't like collaborating, I just like, it really excites me. Like what's the version of this where I just like create all this stuff by myself? Yeah, and just create like a visually stunning picture that someone can look at while they listen to my music and they're just like, oh, this is kind of what they were going for. But yeah, so I have the sketchbook. I have pencils for any hobby. You can go online and just order like a basic starter kit. And that's what I did. I have a sharpener and eraser. These are the three main things I've been using. There are also other things like charcoal sticks. And I also found out that there are different grades to pencils, which is really cool. It has to do with the softness and hardness of the page. Yeah, it's really meditative. Nothing, nothing too fancy. I just have a bunch of random exercises that, gosh, what's his name again? Michael Markowski. His videos kind of walk me through. So like I have that, that's literally just copying a Picasso drawing. He also recognizes that Picasso like wasn't such a great guy, but like it or not, he influenced it. This is something I really like. I like that he, um, he has this exercise where he takes like a drawing and he puts it upside down. So you can kind of get out of your head and just focus on, you know, matching the lines and observing it. And he also puts a, a, a time limit on it. So he's like, you know, he, he sets a timer for four minutes and that's something like that's something that's demotivated me from drawing in the past is the fact that I, I just really want to like already be perfect and you would think I would have learned by now because you, you know I've learned quite a few things like different instruments like I mentioned and you would think I would know by now that you have to lean into the fact that you're not good at the thing and just kind of you know put in the time and trust that it's part of the process but man it, it never really gets easier Learning, learning new things never gets easier. So I definitely understand people who are hesitant to learning something they're interested in. But anyway, yeah. So you draw this upside down and then you flip it. And it's the actual drawing. Isn't that cool? Isn't that neat? It's the same Picasso drawing from before. This was another, oh, this one was cool. This is the one we just did. We did, um, I forget, this is another, this isn't my art, but like this was another one I drew upside down and it looked different but I actually really like my version of it. So I drew it like that and then I flipped it. And doesn't that look so cool? I'm actually really proud of that. And then obviously we drew shapes and stuff. I, I Again, I drew a lot when I was like a kid in school. So like I, I was used to kind of like drawing shapes, but 
yeah, there's that. And there's like some shading and stuff. And that was the, the other thing that turned off, turned me off was um, a lot of like the those 10 minute videos I was watching. Like they condense a lot of worthwhile information because like the biggest ones are always just like you gotta practice, you know, do a little bit every day, that kind of thing. And that's helpful advice. But also like the big thing they were like is like get comfortable drawing 3D shapes and stuff. And <laughs> that just seemed so boring to me. You know, it's like the same version of practicing scales on an instrument, which I've never been good about holding myself to. I still don't do it to this day. I'm the kind of person who's like, let me learn how to play a song. I'm also learning Japanese. It's like, let me read a book or an article or whatever, you know? I, I do much better with just like going at it. But definitely with uh, Michael's video series, it's very helpful having his presence kind of walking you through it because otherwise I'd just be like, <clears throat> and kind of get onto the negative thought train a little too easily. This was another Picasso. I like that he uses Picasso. I think it makes sense because it's so abstract and, and and strange that like your brain can't be as reined in. You know, if we had just started with a typical like, you know, draw this. You know, we have too much of a too much of an understanding of what this looks like in our world versus this is all about the line stuff. This is another one. This this is like actually what excited me about making this video. This was another. I think it was another Picasso that I drew upside down. And then you flip it and look at that like what the heck am I an artist can I can I actually draw stuff I'm so I just started I'm so proud of this already it's not original but but that that shows some promise right there this is my first week of drawing I'm gonna keep doing it I'm gonna do one of his videos every day just keep following it along. And as with anything, anything you learn, you know, once you get started, as you're reading or watching videos, you learn what questions you need to ask. Right now, I'm still in the phase of I don't even, you know, I'm still learning how to tie my shoes or whatever, you know, I'm still on like step one. I gotta learn the rules. But then once I learn the rules, I can be like, oh, why is rule three a thing? And then you, you know, you Google, why is rule three? The, the benefits of rule three. And they're just like, well, rule three can, let you do A, B, and C. And then you're just like, oh, well, let me learn more about C. You know how learning is. I'll, I'll, I'll keep keeping track of my, uh, of my progress. I really like, like the idea of uh, being able to look back and see how far I've come. That's the main takeaway of the video. I'm gonna draw every day. Do, do, do the stuff that you wanna do. Oh, cool, it cut off. <laughs>